Hello, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be my November favourites for you. I've got quite a few products to go through, so I'm going to get started straight away. The first one I'm going to show you is a shower gel. This is the Snow Fairy Shower Gel from Lush. This product is great if you like really sweet and over kind of scented products basically. It's a bubblegum scented flavour which is absolutely adorable. It's like someone over sugared a big pile of bubblegum and that's what its um, scent is. I would say that this is perfect for kind of anyone that likes kind of girly products because it is bright pink and it has glitter in it. Um, I absolutely adore this. I buy it every year. You can get it in three bottle sizes, a really small one, this one, and then a larger one. Unfortunately, when I went, the larger one was sold out, so I had to settle for the medium-sized one. But normally I would go for the massive one, and I think in their sale I'm probably going to go and attempt to get my hands on one of these. But it's just a really nice kind of product to use. I use it every morning, it wakes me up and it smells amazing. It also lingers on the skin as well for the whole day and you'll get left with kind of a glittery kind of shimmer to your skin as well, which I absolutely adore. Um, yep, yeah, it's just the perfect kind of product if you're into really girly, nice scents. I would really recommend this one. It's from Lush and this size bottle I think is about the £8.90 mark, £8.90. But definitely get your hands on one of these if you like that kind of scented product. Next up is a face mask. I've been having a massive breakout on my um, face at the moment, especially my chin. Um, but this product is, I think, I'm pretty sure I featured it in a previous favourite video. But it's the Purifying Face Mask. It's a Witch Hazel Mud Mask. It's from Superdrug. And it's basically just a face mask, really fun to use. And it clears the skin lovely. It clears my skin amazingly. I would say that I always reach for this product if I have a breakout after like double cleansing and things like that. But it's just a really nice kind of product to have. They don't test on animals. It doesn't have any kind of harsh ingredients in it. No like acids or anything like that. Um, and this kind of tube has lasted me I would say for about six months and it's pretty much almost full. But in kind of the last six months I've used it so many times that I would expect it by now to be empty um, so it's just a perfect product to go for if you suffer from breakouts it is a super duck own brand so it's around the three pound mark but definitely pick up one of these um, if you do suffer from breakouts the next two products I got from America in a beauty box swap um, it's the it's a 10 and this one which I cannot pronounce its name don't yell at me if I've got it wrong. Is it Zoya or Zoya? I can't know. It's never going to get pronounced. Um, but these two products are from America, so I don't know the prices, and I don't know if you can get them in the UK. Um, but it's a 10. It's basically a leave-in conditioner serum for the hair. Um, you shampoo, condition your hair, then come out, spritz this in, and then style it as normal. And I've just found that my hair has looked really nourish, really bouncy, really bright and really well looked after. It sorted all my split ends out. It leaves my hair really soft and really manageable as well. I just absolutely love this product. I love the scent as well of the product. It's really fresh, kind of almost kind of fruity scent to it in a way, but a really mild kind of one. Um, but yeah, it's the perfect product. If anyone knows of a dupe of this product that you can get in the UK, I would absolutely adore you if you leave it below and like I really need this product available in the UK basically so if it's a tenner watching please release them in the UK because um, I know that this little tiny bottle costs I think $13 or something which is kind of a massive rip off for this kind of little bottle but it's worth it because it works so well um, so I'd really recommend that if you have kind of really thick unmanageable hair and lastly is the polish, which I'm not going to try and pronounce the name of again. Um, it's the one that I'm currently wearing here, so that's kind of the colour shading. Um, but it does tend to change. Like, at the moment for me, I don't know what it comes up on the camera, but it's looking kind of dark blue. But when I look at it in certain lights and stuff like that, it can go to a, like a purpley shade. And in the bottle as well, it looks like a dark purple. But when I painted it on the first time around, I was like, that looks like a denim blue kind of shade. Um, but it's got like really nice bits of shimmer in it. It's a really nice product to use. It's kind of this for me is about a week since putting it on and it's not chipped too much, which has really impressed me. 
um but i just absolutely love this product i love the the kind of different shades that it gives you um so yeah i'd really recommend that if you can get your hands on it and the last product I, that i've been loving i'm not going to know if it comes out too well on camera is christmas jumpers this one i got last year in tesco i think i believe it was let me check the label f and m what's f and m I have no idea where I got this one from because it's just F and F. But yeah, it's basically a Christmas jumper. Tesco. There we go. Um, but it looks like this. So it's just a red Christmas jumper. And it's got the little reindeers on and the, snow fair, uh, the snowflakes. And I just absolutely adore it. I've been putting this on when I've been having kind of lazy days around the house. It's really thick and really warm and it's just perfect for the weather that we're having at the moment with it being so cold. Um, but yeah, this has been my little lifesaver. I've absolutely loved it. And I bought it last year. Last year I didn't seem to wear it that much because I think I had a Primark Christmas jumper. But this has definitely earned its place in my November favourites. Um, so that is all the favourite products that I've got for this month. If you've done a November favourites, then please leave it below. I would love to check that out. And I will see you next week for a video. I'm thinking maybe a vlog. I'm not entirely sure. But if you've got any video suggestions, then please leave them below. And I'll be sure to check those out. And thanks for watching. See you next time.